accomplished a lot today, but more importantly, I packed food. I remembered to pack food. <laughs> that was what I got. Uh, I'm Candy. I use they them pronouns, and I earned some money today. <laughs> uh, my name is Eddie L. Albuquerque. That's how you actually pronounce it. I'm 21, and I'm from Lisbon. Tell me about this task that you set for yourself. I'm making a documentary. That's, that's the big onion. And it's a documentary about a musical, which is a smaller onion. My musical is about a group of trans people, which is a smaller onion. My task is making onions. Let's go onion by onion in that case. Great. Why are you making a documentary? I care a lot about memory and not forgetting things and remembering things. I think in case anything happens and the musical doesn't happen for some reason, at least there's a documentation of this happening. You know, I think musicals are nothing until they get on stage. They're like, they're a non-event until they, oh, they're on stage and people see it. But behind the scenes, a lot is happening. And I just consume a lot of documentaries. So I was like, let's make my own. <laughs> No, so it's first time. this is, and I've been right. like, okay, I'm going to sit in the corner and cry for a minute now. Um, That's groovy. Do you want to, um, Matt wants to sing, do you want to join us for this? Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm actually vegan, uh, oh, I shall. <laughs> <laughs>
they represent me? Who are these people? Ooh. Well, I'm representing anybody that has anything in common with me. I'm putting out my immigrant stories, and if those resonate with you, then it's something that isn't usually represented in theater. I'm representing my, my friends. I'm representing the friends in my life. And I think that maybe the group of friends I have are from these groups that people wouldn't usually have in their life. But they're so human and so normal. <laughs> We're so average. We're so, so average. I think it, people need to be like, groups of people need to be personalized as a counter to what traditional media is doing, which is generalizing big, huge, huge, humongous groups of people like immigrants, like the working class, like trans people, queer people in general. And those generalizations hurt. And I thought the best way to counter that is to make it personal. And to make it personal is to base it off the real. I seem to hear something. What were you coming up with? I heard something. So... Some ass. Um, I think I, I was going... Uh... Cinema Verite, we pretend the camera doesn't exist. Oh, it's one of those, it's one of those. It's oh, like, oh, hi. <laughs> but we pretend she doesn't exist. It's a full all the way around. Emily's very nice, but we're ignoring her. I'm Emily May, I use she, her pronouns, and I wash my legs. Where are we sitting? Who are the people? I thought, okay, I want to represent a group of people, and I want them all to be trans people, but I don't want it to look really forced. So I thought, where in my life have I met lots of trans people? And I thought nightclubs. Well, I thought there's, there's many different settings, but it has to also be something that I'm familiar with. And I've been a bartender like pretty intensely for the past three years. So I chose, well, a nightclub. And the more I thought about it, the more historical significance it gains. Nightclubs have been social community centers for the queer community for ages. They were where Stonewall broke out. But also nightclubs are so vibrant and they're such a perfect scene to set a musical because you have live music, you have this incredible fashion, you have drama, you have the people working and the people enjoying so you have really like contrasting sides of the story and they have the music history. Nightclubs, especially queer nightclubs were so important in um, 
the boom of disco and funk, but also they were such a big contributor to the success of the big gay stars, which were not gay people. We're talking your Mariahs, your Britneys, maybe your Diana Ross to some extent. You have the drag scene, which has such a big connection to music as well. And then in the 90s and early 2000s, you have that like electro house drum and bass scene that attracted a lot of like, queer people and a lot of queer 90s fashion. I don't know, nightclubs, nightclubs. The more you go, the more you get into it, the more you realize how much they have to tell. Hello friends. Hello. Friends. Hi. 